All right, we are off. This is the Oracle of Seasons weekly randomizer race. Today we're playing normal mode. Randomized dungeons, randomized portals, cross items enabled. Gonna be a fun race as always. Joining me in the race is Lotus. Good luck and have fun. Is there cross items for ages yet? Yeah, it's been out for a couple months now, I wanna say. It's been out for a little bit. Thanks for the good luck, Meeple. The one thing I don't like about the beginning of Seasons runs is <laughs> how long it takes for you to get your first item. Like, having to go all the way through here. We got a sword. Okay. I'll gladly take that. Second item is Maple's Ring. Okay, so we're done there. I'm going to just check this shop, see what's in here. It's treasure map. Ooh. That's spicy. I may want to pick that up later. I may even, like, save scum it later, right? Pick it up. Uh, and then see where things are. And then reload my save. And we get flippers. Okay. If you touch it, you have to buy it. Uh, unfortunately, saving and reloading is a thing you can do. So we can time travel away from it. And we never have to actually touch it. Okay. Default fall there is interesting. If I get a bracelet, that lets me do some stuff. That was a ring. <laughs> Didn't see what ring it was, but don't think it's anything good. Moosh's flute. Okay. Cool. Just keep doing that. Uh, I can't do anything there. Yeah, I guess I just have to take Moosh over to Sunken. Or wait, wait, I can go up this way. Hold on, let's go this way first. All right, spring here. I didn't even look at what seed it was, but I don't think it's anything good. Like, I don't think it's like a Pegasus or an Ember or a Gale.
so I'm not going to worry about that. Blano? I mean, I don't have any rupees. So I can't really do Blano. But I'm going to set my save point here. Just in case things go uh, a little south. If I got the swimmer's ring, would I have saved scum? Probably not. Because swimmer's ring is actually pretty good. But then again, with moosh, it's not as useful. Gloves, okay. Magnet Gloves doesn't really help me yet. So right now I'm I'm fully expecting some kind of uh, progression through Subrosia. All right, Gale Seed's there. Don't have bombs, <laughs> so I can't do anything there. Let's see if this is spring. It is. Okay, so we can drop down here. Five. Okay, there's where our magnet gloves come to play. An early boss key. And a small key. We're probably just going to get small keys from here on out. Because we really can't do a ton in here. Like, we can get a decent amount of stuff, but most of it's just going to be keys. Thank <laughs> you. 
And there's our bombs. <laughs> we get bomb access and we get boomerang and ember seeds. Good stuff. Good stuff. I guess I can go and fight Siger. Yeah, there was an Ember Tree earlier. But I don't have a way of getting seeds. But now, as soon as I get seed access, I have Ember Seeds. Like, I, I could just, like, mark Ember Seeds, essentially. Summer! That's all I can do here. I can't do anything else because I don't have Feather. Like, see, I just got Ember Seeds from that bush. I wouldn't be able to get those unless I already had Ember Seeds. Woods of Winter is winter. Sunken was spring, I believe. Oh, dungeon. I might want to go back up to Sunken. Well, I'm probably going to have to go back up to Sunken anyway. To leave from here. Hey, D1. Oh, get me a seed thing. Get me a seed thing, please. Well, never mind. <laughs> We're seed locked out of there. <laughs> also, Eastern Suburbs leads to Dungeon. Yeah, I have no other access from here. So I have to go back. Oh, it was fall here. Okay. Actually, you know what? This kind of works out in a weird way, because I can go up to Mount Kuko. Mount Kuko Subrosia entrance should lead somewhere. But then again, I may need Feather. There's our satchel. Okay. That helps me out tremendously. Because now I can grab Gale Seeds real quick. So I have Gale Seeds, 
now I head up to Mount Kuko, and I have no, like, fear of being stuck up there. Because I just scale seed away, and then I go wherever else, wherever else I want after that. And we get bombs back! Perfect! That is absolutely perfect. So yeah, the point of this is to check the portal. Uh, we can't really do anything else up here. But if we get a good portal, then we're good. Volcano. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place the bomb in the volcano. Just in case. He's just cooking dinner. And, you know what? I'm gonna go see what the moosh item is over here. Can't grab it. But since I'm here, I might as well see what it is, and we can get an idea of whether I need it or not. It's a feather. It's a feather. Okay. Okay. Gotta love it, game. And there's Winter! And Mortalis with the two months, appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, it could very well be Feather if we find bananas. Like, if we find bananas, it can be Feather. Oh, you can't call Moosh up there. That's just a game design thing. To force you into uh, doing the banana quest. Rusty Bell. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Um... Yeah, I guess I go here, just get Sen Seeds. Oh, we can do, we can do Blano real quick. Like, let, let's just do Blano while we're here. Give me my money back, cool. Um Oh, we started with Pegasus Seeds. Let's go. Hold on. This is actually really good. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up. Set up my money. Yeah, I have all the seeds already. I just didn't pick up the mysteries yet. Gnarled Key! Okay. So I guess we're going to that dungeon now. Or... I guess we could go finish D1. If we really wanted to. Let's see what this dungeon is first. 
D1 is probably where we need to be. Yeah, I can't do anything here. Well, I can do a little bit, uh, but I really don't want to do anything there. Let's just do D1. Because I can full clear it. Like, that's the great thing about the first dungeon, is you really don't need much in order to full clear the dungeon. And you know what? This could even be a left side locked D1. If we get Bosky up here. Nope, but we got a small key, so we're good. So we'll full clear. And Heart Ring L1. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst ring. Like, I'll gladly equip it right now. while we're still low on health. Just that, like, passive health refill is gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just immediately going to boss. Just in case small key's there. Like, any time that you get an early boss key in this dungeon, you want to go to boss. Because you could get locked away from doing the mini boss. Why do you have to go all the way up there, dude? See, where are you going? <laughs> He's going off screen. Now that's the master plaque, okay. Now we jump right back in, and we finish the dungeon. Finish just clearing it out. There's the bananas. There we go. There's our feather. So after this, we're going to head back up to Mount Kuko and get our feather. Oh, wait a second. Are we... No, no, I got map already. I got map already. So there's one more item left here.
Okay, we have to go all the way through this to get the last item. But you know what? It could very well be worth it. Shoutouts to Vanilla Strats. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> that fight was terrible. It's an eye. It's the round jewel. So it is a required item. <laughs> so yeah, let's go get our feather. Oh, you know what? Before I head up there, uh, let's do the Master Plaque, since we're in the area. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll turn in our Master Card. for a red joy ring. Hmm. It would have been funnier if uh, he gave me rupees at that point. <laughs> I think it is. Or is it hearts? It might be hearts. Let's go, my friend! Give me the power to jump! I think green is, uh, ore. Blue? Maybe? I'm not sure. Alright. So. Now that we have the power of jumping, we shall make our way to a place that requires the power to jump which is Eyeglass Portal. Or Eyeglass Lake in general. There's a couple things we can do here while we're in the area. We got ourselves a mermaid suit and that's pretty cool. Just have to change the season here. And that's going to allow me to get over here. Oh yeah, mermaid suit. <laughs> oh, we don't have auto mermaid on. That's kind of annoying. Ooh, okay. 
Eyeglass leads to pirates. I still don't have main access to Subversia. Once I have that, I have D7 Entrance and then like a whole bunch of other stuff. And really all I need now is just a bracelet. Find me a bracelet and we have some insane access. If I find it here, that would be amazing. If not... Can't go to Spool Portal. Oh, I can do Temple Lower? Yeah, I think I do Temple Lower. Because I already did Volcano. Uh, temple is already blown up, so I can just go through it. Hide and seek can't be required anymore. It's guaranteed non required because of access to pirates. The only thing that could happen is Temple Lower is hide and seek, in which case we just don't do it. Then I have to go find progression somewhere else. But because of the fact that I already have Winter... ...and access to Volcano, uh, it leads me to believe that this is the way we need to go. Actually, do I even need... I don't even need Winter for this. Yeah. You just need Volcano. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's that's access. Access using the Magniclove. So yeah, Temple Lower being the Furnace Slingshot. Yeah, this gives me everything. I might as well just check what all the portals are. Spool is going to be... Or, or Temple Upper leads to Rosa. We don't need to do that. Anything in here? Uh, X shaped jewel? Is 
is on Star Or. So we've already found two jewels, essentially. So we probably don't even need to get the treasure map at this point. I may like just save scum it just to see where the remaining two are. Hyper Slingshot. We already got Hypers. This is a really interesting seed already. So turn in the bell. And then I'm just going to make a big loop. And exit from Volcanoes East. More roots, okay. We'll exit from Volcanoes East so we can get full knowledge. And then we go back to Eyeglass Lake to turn in the the bell. Blue Joy. Okay. We're getting all the joy. Like, that's what the seed is giving to us. We're just getting all joy. All the time. Alright, that is there. This is still the fastest spot for me to go to Eyeglass. Oh! Oh, wait a second. Before I go there. Before I go there. Get my Mystery Seeds so we can do Black Beast. we're going to do Black Beast as we go into um, D7 entrance.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mermaid suit! I keep forgetting. I might as well pick up rupees here. Uh, just in case I get member card. Blue. Yeah, because if I get member card... We're going to want at least five to 600 rupees, give or take. 800 is the max. I don't have shovel. I don't have shovel. I good thing I remember that before doing this. <laughs> that would have been bad. I have to change the season here. And actually, because I have to change it, changing it to summer is really good. Because I don't even have to go through the cave. I can just climb the vine. And that leads to D3. Okay. We can do work in here. And a key. Oh, wow. We can't do a ton here. We can't do everything because we don't have bracelet. This is going to get interesting. The lack of bracelet. So I'm going to have to go this way. I may have to refill on uh, Gale Seeds at some point. 
before finishing this. Map. I have nine left. Might be okay. Because I'm gonna save scum this if it's not anything. I can't even fight the mini boss. Yeah, I can't even fight the mini boss. We might just be done here. Unless Bracelet ends up in here. There's like three more checks I can do. There's Boss Key. Rod of Spring? Oh, I never marked that I have Winter, either. Hmm. Alright, last check. It's the last one I can do. Wait, I didn't... I marked... Fall, not spring. It's the bracelet! Dude! <laughs> what are the odds? The last possible place for me to get it here. And we get it. Yeah, now we can full clear. This is probably a small key. Probably didn't even need to do this. Yeah, it had to be a small key. Yeah, they knew. Like, they, they just knew where to put it. Really makes you think. Like how how much do people realize? Like this this game can be completely different. If you just change the placement of a few items. Yeah, I would love to see a randomizer built into a Zelda game at some point. But I don't think they'll ever do that. Because the amount of work required to do just do the randomizer, they might as well just make a separate game.
And it's the third jewel! We don't even need to look for the jewels. They're just popping up. Oh yeah, I never marked that I finished D1 either. Oh, uh, let's see. I can finish five now. I can finish five. Uh, let's just fill up on seeds real quick. And start thinking about all of the things we can do. Finishing five seems like the best course of action right now. It's an easy dungeon. Don't really need to worry too much. Yeah, what's up, Snow? Thanks for the good luck. Oh, that was... Did my seed run out, like, mid-flight? I think it did. I think it did. Like, mid-jump. Seed just... Stopping. Because normally you can make that jump. And I know you can make that jump. I'm gonna take it safe. Wait, how are we... Only at two keys? There's gotta be keys, like, everywhere now. Yeah, there we go. I guess we're at four keys, right? Because I used one... I used one on the boss door, or the mini boss door. Oh yeah, because I didn't do a uh, spinner. That's why. Because I think this has to be a small key. But I'm going to double check. Yep. Yeah, I like the idea of having built-in randomization into a game. But it depends on the, the type of game as well, right? Like, some games are entirely built on it. Map... Uh... 50-50. It's a 50-50 uh, map is on boss. Because there's games that are already designed for randomization, like any roguelike game, right? That's already basically a randomizer. But I think the appeal of other randomization is games that aren't normally randomized, right? Games that have like a set structure, but then when you go ahead and add that randomization layer to it, it creates a whole new experience. It's 
sort of like Zelda. Zelda is not a game that you would normally go in playing randomizer. But when you end up randomizing it, it ends up being a completely different thing than what you originally played. And it creates a whole new, fresh experience. Yeah, I think exploration-based games really benefit from randomization. Alright, I'll take the rupees, why not? Alright, now I gotta start thinking about where I wanna be. I guess let's just quickly hit up the desert. While I'm in the area, because I'm probably never coming back here. Oh, I mean, I'll come back here, just not with the intention of coming this way. <laughs> Members card! There you are! Guess we're going shopping. And we don't have a shovel, so we can't just, like, freely get rupees. We, we're gonna have to work for it. If it's the two 300s, we might be in trouble. If it's... Uh... All three? We're really in trouble. But if it's a 200 and 300, we're okay. Actually, wait, I can get, I can get a hundred pretty easily. So, really it's just the, the max. If we have to max out, then we're going to have to play around a little bit. Oh, we finally got some more health. <laughs> I was kind of wondering when, when we were going to get health been playing on four hearts for, you know, like an hour. Not two. Not three. Hello, fourth try. Dragon Key. Oh, we can actually do that. We have summer, we have spring, and we have winter. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's our progression right there. But let's see what Member Shop has to offer for us. Because that could very well sway um, where I want to go. But most likely we're heading to Mount Kuko. Okay, Star Ore required, and then I'm just going to go ahead and buy the sword while I'm here. Damage increase is much better than health right now. I mean, health is good, but I need that damage up. So yeah, Mount Kuko. 
we're gonna hit up another dungeon. At some point, I could go in and go back to seven. I don't know what point that's gonna be. Maybe if I don't find anything here, I head to seven. Just rupees? Okay. And you should, yeah. Play through them. These are great games. We maxed out our seed satchel, so that's going to be amazing. Like, that's actually, like, the most amazing thing. Because once you have all five and you get the upgrade, you just get maxed out. If you haven't played them in a while, play them again. It's always worth a, a replay, in my opinion. So what are we still looking for, um, progression-wise? We need one more jewel, right? We need Fall, Floodgate Key. Those are our three remaining dungeons, okay. And then in terms of doing dungeons, like completing the dungeons, Do I even need anything, really? A oh, boomerang, magic boomerang. And maybe cape, if we're feeling fancy. But we already have hyper slingshots, so if I find eight, I can go through the long way. If I really wanted to. Do I really want to right now? Because it's going to be 8. Ah, uh, how did I know? <laughs> how did I know? Hello, friends. Five heart, D8. Without cape? Hmm. Am I feeling a five heart DA without cape? Not really. <laughs> I'm gonna do front three at least. But I'd rather do seven. <laughs> I would rather do seven right now.
because I can at least get a lot more progress in seven very easily. And I haven't started eight, uh, seven at all. I walked in here and was like, nope. Because I knew there was literally one check or two checks that I could grab the first time through. It would have been something if uh, one of these two checks was a bracelet. I made it still very possible uh, because of cross items. Like, the bracelet we got could very well be our power glove. But yeah, there's guaranteed one key. And then after that, the other check is also a small key. So yeah, we were good. I don't care. I don't care about doing post skip. As long as I get through the dungeon, that's all that really matters to me. Hard or Hmm. That has a little bit of spice to it. Mostly because I'm a little scarred from forgetting about the hard or the last time that we did one of these. Was it the last time or like two times ago? Either way, I do not want to forget turning in the hard order. Though at this point, it's not as imperative. Considering, like, we have access to a lot of things. Another small key. So that's four already. Okay. There we go. All keys. The only key we're missing is the boss key. Yo, what's up, X Keeper? Thanks for the good luck. Mm -hmm. 
map, okay. Maybe Twitch is having some issues. I haven't dropped any frames or anything, so... about having a heart ring is I can like sit here all day. Actually can't sit here all day. Now that I'm thinking about it. I only have nine bombs. Because I don't have a switch hook to be able to do the easy strat. I have to do the the bomb jump. There's our boss key. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll check it out later. Alright, we made the first part. Now for the hard part. Can drop bombs. Yes. All right. I think that's the spot. That was probably a frame early. we go. That's how you do it.
as I immediately get owned by everything. So we're finishing up D7. <laughs> Assuming I don't die to Gliok. I probably will. Alright, back items are both items. Uh, do I want to go back there? Not really. Having the level 2 sword here really helps. Yeah, there we go. Gleok down! And we get a Seed Shooter. Not that that really matters. Um, where do I want to go? Do I want to go into the back? Not really. I want to clean up, like, some other stuff. We can always go back in there later. Oh, wait. I have to leave and... Yeah, I have to do that. That strat. Yeah, the rod does damage the, uh, the Poe sisters. So you can actually make your way through most of D7 with just a rod for damage. As long as, like, you get lucky on where your keys are. Okay, there's Cape. <laughs> Since I have Cape, I might as well go back in here. <laughs> Oh, that... that's... terrible. I can't believe I spent that much time doing, uh, Capeless just to get Cape as literally the next item. That's just my luck. And there's the final jewel! That's the last jewel! That's the last one. Uh, I have to go back into Sabrosia to get the final one that... But we have now secured all four jewels, essentially. It's a good thing I came back here. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't. I probably would have ended up going to the shop finding, you know, getting the the treasure map and then seeing the sparkle on the screen and be like, oh man. <laughs> oh. 
But instead, this worked out really well. And Autumn, hello? <laughs> it's the Tarn Ruins starter kit? Well, before I go there, I might as well check out the dungeon that's right next door to me. Because we are literally one item from Go Mode now. Ah, uh, two. Two. I keep forgetting the boomerang is a thing. Like, the magic boomerang is a thing that we need to get. A D4. You know, we really didn't get many cross items so far. The only one we really got was the uh, Seed Shooter. And even then, Seed Shooter we're not utilizing because we already had Hyper Slingshot. So that's three keys already. That is enough to beat the dungeon, essentially. Another key. It's the boss. Okay, so that is all I need for here. I'm still gonna collect things because we're still missing items. But, yeah, this is working out somewhat nicely. Another key. That means there's a key on Pot Push. Because this is not a key.
Good fight. Alright, so we don't need to get Pop Push Key at all. Let's see if we need the item from the other side. Yeah, because it's definitely an item. Uh, you know what? We'll do it this way. Oh, that could have been really bad if I did that. It could have trapped me in there. Gotta remember not to try and hit that with a sea shooter if I already passed by. Kane! I'm gonna hold on to Kane. <laughs> Even though, like, most of its uses are already past still good to have there's still like a few places where it might be useful Goma down. Alright, so... The next place I want to go to... Is probably... Probably Sabrosia to grab our star or X-shaped jewel using the star-shaped ore. And then head up to Tarm. That was either cape or autumn locked. It was cape locked. Cape locked. Yeah. So the bracelet we got was our initial bracelet. It absolutely had to be.
with cape being bracelet locked and uh <laughs> fall being cape locked. Ooh, I could do Rosa while I'm here. I could maybe do a few other things. Is there a few other things that I could do? Fall Tower? Yeah, we can we can hit up a few things here. Hard ore. Remember. <laughs> Remember to turn in the hard ore. Yeah, so this is a very important Subrosia visit. Not just because we're getting the jewel, but because we're turning in the hard ore. And we're basically cleaning out the remainder of Subrosia in one fell swoop. Uh, there's only the beach. We can't do beach because we don't have shovel. Uh, do I take... You know what? I'm gonna take this path. I'm gonna take the long way around. Take it. There's the shovel. Okay, we're cleaning out Sabrosia completely. I'm just gonna go right back to the beach right now. I guess my routing did kind of pay off there. Just rupees, okay. Hundred rupees. You know, maybe I end up getting that heart container later on. There's a heart container. Alright, we're just going to Tarm now. Um, quickest exit from here is going to be Market, I think. And actually, if I really wanted to... I could 
do something like this. Eh, I don't really care. Because I can just go to the tree. I'm trying to think of where else do I go after this. Um, like, if we don't find progression here, I think I take myself up to Goron Mountain and go into D8. Like, I think that's the only play after this. Bombs? No. That is not a progression item. Two or six? Two is fully clearable. Six we can do some good damage to. Either way, I mean, they're both dungeons that we have to do. Red ring! What a lovely ring. I'm excited. I'm gonna keep the heart ring equipped for now. But uh, once we jump into a dungeon, I think we'll go ahead and equip that red ring. Actually... Let's just set it up now. Why not? D2! Perfect! So that means D6 is our Gomo dungeon. Which means the boomerang could basically be anywhere. I got small key and boss key. It's really nice. I'm 
Gonna quickly check behind door number one. Okay, key lock, so I'm just peacing out immediately. <laughs> There's Floodgate Key, so that's access to D6. We now have all dungeon access. We just need the boomerang. I figured that was probably going to be the third key, but I had to check it just to be safe. You know what? I don't even need Red Ring on in here. We'll just keep Heart Ring equipped. There's a switch hook. I could have used that back when we were doing D7. Same thing with the cane. Like, we're finding all these cross items now, now that I don't actually need them. Alright, good fight. Really? I was pressing down. Alright, so I guess I go to six. I go to six first. Because it's easier to get to six than it is to eight. And it's a lot easier to, like, full clear 6 than it is to full clear 8. I'd much rather get the opportunity to go mode 8. If I can.
for Oracle's Rando, any settings that are off limits. Uh, there's no settings that are off limits. Um, most people just choose to play on normal logic because hard logic can be really intimidating and requires some rather obscure things. Um, and then really the only thing is for ages we just ban, like, globally ban text warping. Oh. Why'd I go past it? Just because that can, like, be really game-breaking. And... The way that, uh, Rando behaves with it is not very consistent. I guess in theory you could do text warps in seasons now with uh, the seed shooter available. But I don't know of anywhere that would be useful. But you could probably do it. You just have to locate something. Alright, two keys. I think that does allow me to go right side. Uh, what is text warping? Uh, it's a trick where you activate an owl statue on the same frame that you... Uh, leave a cave. Or, like, leave a house. Like, you can... It, it's not necessarily just an owl statue. It's any, like, text box. Uh, you activate the text box on the same frame that you leave an interior map going to an exterior map. And it doesn't transition the map. So, uh, you end up in a completely wrong location. Like, the main example of it is in Ages. Uh, you do it in the speedrun to get from uh, Lina Village, which is the main town in the past. You go from the the outhouse with the hand and you end up in the old man ruby cave outside Goron village and then there's another one where you use the owl statue outside of uh, mermaid cave entrance in the present and that takes you out of bounds and you could do some like really crazy stuff with that like uh, there's a whole ace set up where you can just beat the game right then and there. Like, any percent stuff is pretty broken when you do that. But yeah, in terms of settings, you could just basically do whatever you want. You can, yeah, you can combine cross items, uh, key sanity, hard mode, all that fun stuff. I don't know if you can do entrance rando with the other stuff. I think that's still separate. And I don't know if entrance rando has even been worked on in like the past like two or three years. So it might not even be like, up-to-date with everything else. Alright. So, looks like we are headed towards... towards D8. Now, I'm gonna make a pit stop along the way.
because um because we're still looking for that boomerang and the boomerang could end up here you played hollow knight transition randomizer without item rando that sounds interesting. I still need to play Hollow Knight, but like I, I get the general idea. It's like a Metroidvania style game. But like having transition randomizer without changing the um, the item locations. You gotta just figure out how to get to places. Which sounds pretty interesting. It's more than a Metroidvania. I've been meaning to play it for, like, forever. I have it downloaded, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been, like, really busy getting ready for Tears of the Kingdom. I've been uh, playing Breath of the Wild a lot. Because I, I never actually beat Breath of the Wild <laughs> back when it came out. I wasn't really a fan of the open world stuff until... Uh, much later. So now that I'm playing again, like I'm I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did. Oh wait, I need to do it this way. It's been a while since we've done this. Yeah, that was terribly late. I still need to learn how to do the cane setup. There's like a much easier setup uh, for uh, cross item rando that involves the cane. I just never got around to like figuring it out. Yeah, that was uh, frame late. It's definitely late. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the first one. It's the second, uh, second button that I'm getting caught on. That looks like a frame late again. Yep. That looks good! Just don't knock me back! Yes! Let's go! I was fully anticipating that Mini Moldworm just knock me right into the pit.
Alright, where is this keys? The Fuzor! We got you! Okay. Okay. I probably shouldn't have gone that way. Probably should not have gone that way. But I think we'll be okay. Let me see. I wasn't thinking about keys until uh, I went through and I saw that I had one key. But yeah, we'll, we'll get one here. I just gotta be careful with my keys. Uh, yeah, I can grab the two down here. Go back. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine key-wise. There's actually a lot of keys back here. Hold on. Why are there so many keys in the back? I mean, I still didn't get boss keys, so I still have to go back the other way. But it actually worked out in my favor. Where are all the keys? Uh, there's normally keys in that room. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Alright, another key. I'm gonna need more bombs, but thankfully we get bomb refills in here. In fact, I'm just gonna refill right now. There's boss key. Okay. So we're looking pretty solid on being able to finish the dungeon. We just need to find this, uh, this boomerang. Doesn't necessarily have to be here. There are a few other places it could be. Wait, are we looking at three keys? Uh, no, not necessarily. Because I didn't grab, uh, the one underground key. Or one underground chest, and that's not a key. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, these might both be keys, then. They are. Okay. So now I go back this way, and I grab this item. 
This is the one remaining use of the switch hook. Okay, that's nothing. So the only opportunity in here is on Medusa Head. If it's on Medusa Head, that's basically GG. If it's not, where am I headed? Moblin Keep is looking okay right now. I also have Winter Cave. Winter Cave might be better than Moblin Keep. I also have the chest above D1, the fall cave above D1. And that's it. <laughs> that's all that's left. There's three checks in the entire game. after Medusa head. Just grab a few of these. That should be enough. Alright, Medusa, do you have my boomerang? You do. Perfect. Alright, so now we just run through D6 and we're done. And Lotus finishing in first place with a 20703. GG. Found that boomerang a little bit faster. Probably didn't have to full clear everything like I did. Or maybe found the cape faster than me. That's another thing. I wasted a lot of time trying to do uh, capeless D7 and then had to leave and come back when I could have, you know, just full cleared it the first time around if I had cape. But yeah, I have to say my favorite part about the seed was the feather 
up on uh, Mount Kuko. Like, requiring Moosh. Requiring the Spring Banana. Of course, the key is going to be on the other one. Uh, yeah, I don't have red ring equipped. That's good. Well, now I can. Now I can equip red ring with no uh, downside to it. The reason I don't equip red ring there is because uh, a red ring s boosted level 2 sword spin will put him into phase 3 and you want to skip phase 3 so if you have level 2 sword you just want to do one base spin spin attack and then hit him with the fool's orb one time and that puts you into phase four. Uh, if you have the level one sword, I believe, I mean, I know it's two spins without a booster, uh, but I believe with red ring, you can just do one spin. Yeah, phase three is by far the worst part of the fight. Like, he loves to just circle around, uh, do some hit runs, and, like, just not even come anywhere near you. So anytime that you can skip phase three is, like, the best thing you can do. That was a really solid ending to the fight. Uh, I don't need that. <laughs> I do not need that. Nope. Yo, Lotus, thanks for the raid. GG on the race. Uh, did I complete D1 in one go? Are these D5 in one go? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did.
I think that was the first dungeon that I completed. Oh no, 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 I went back. I didn't, I didn't, I, I went back with the feather. I did everything up until the stuff that required, like, feather. You did featherless? Okay. Yeah, I don't like featherless, so. And knowing that feather cannot be there. Other than maybe cape. I was like, you know, it's not worth it. Really? Where is it? All the way up there. Yeah, I'm sure it was fine after you get past the boost. Red ring is equipped. Okay, we're good. Did you have cape for D7? I I ended up doing D7 without cape, and then immediately finding cape right after I left. Thankfully, I didn't do the back without cape, because that would have been really... That would have taken me a lot more time. Yeah, I, I double dipped uh, D7 too. Like I didn't, I didn't actually do anything the first time. I just went in there, was like, I don't have bracelet. I'm not doing anything. And then I came back with bracelet, and I just finished the whole thing. Cool. Doing real great. There we go. And we finish in second place with a time of 216.39. It's a good thing I found Cape when I did, because otherwise I probably would have last locationed uh, Autumn and the other item that was there. I think it was a jewel. I think it was Square Jewel. Because I did everything in the dungeon. Except for those last two checks, because I was like, I don't have cape. They're not in logic without cape. Let me... <laughs> Let me, uh, find the cape. Maybe come back for those. And then I immediately find cape. I'm like, okay, I'm going straight back. Yeah, I did capeless. Up until Gliok. It took me a few tries to get the uh, the bomb jump, but everything else was okay.
I love finding D1 immediately and then just not being able to do anything because I don't have seed access. But then, of course, you know, as soon as you get seed access, everything kind of opens up. trying to remember how I routed it because I ended up double dipping into Mount Kuko to get the feather. I think I went up there just for the portal at first and then after I got bananas I went right back there to get feather. You had banana before going there the first time. So that was probably a big difference between us. Yeah, the bracelet! Oh, the bracelet was great. I loved going all the way through D3, being like, okay, I have one check left, and then I gotta leave. And then I find bracelet, and I'm like, okay, I'll finish it up. This scene was pretty interesting, between the bracelet and the feather. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the race. Uh, gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'll be back next weekend with more weekly races and whatnot. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.